Perm ratings are used throughout the construction industry to describe the vapor permeability of different materials, but in most cases, it's used for membrane materials, coatings, and paints. When we're talking about vapor permeability or permeance, we're simply referring to how much water vapor can diffuse through a material, and this is important in determining the drying potential of the assembly. Materials with a higher perm rating allow for faster vapor transmission, while materials with a lower perm rating slow or virtually halt vapor transmission, and these materials are called vapor retarders or vapor barriers. Now, a perm itself is an odd measurement. One perm is equal to one grain of water vapor per hour per square foot per inch of mercury. The one inch of mercury is just the vapor pressure differential. Now, a grain of water is one seven thousandth of a pound of water, so this is basically the equivalent of one drop of water out of a pipette, so this isn't exactly a lot of water that we're dealing with. Materials that have a perm rating less than 0.1 perms are class 1 vapor retarders, which are considered to be strong vapor barriers. We're talking about polyethylene, foil facings, and most roof membranes. We want to use class 1 vapor retarders very intentionally. Materials that have a perm rating between 0.1 perms and 1 perm are class 2 vapor retarders and are semi-vapor impermeable. A little bit of moisture can dry through the material, but for the most part the intention is to slow down vapor transmission. You also need to use these materials very carefully. Materials that have a perm rating between 1 perm and 10 perms are semi-vapor permeable. These are class 3 vapor retarders, and typically we use these materials if we need to slow down vapor diffusion, especially behind things like brick veneers or stucco, or in humid climates where we have inward vapor drive, but we still allow for some of that moisture to pass through and dry out. Anything above 10 perms is considered to be vapor permeable, but sometimes you need a product that's on the lower end of vapor permeable, and sometimes you need a material that's as vapor permeable as possible. The perm ratings of the membranes and materials that we specify in our assemblies should always be selected with care. We want our buildings to be able to dry out, but there are of course times when we need to stop or slow down the movement of vapor. 